Hi everybody, Fraser here. I just wanted to show you the uh, latest functionality that we've got for our Phases of the Moon app. We have it for both Android and iOS. Uh, this is the uh, this is it running on my iPad. So when you first open up the app, you can see you get the uh, the current phase of the moon, uh, the the what phase it's in, how illuminated, how far away it is, how old the moon is, when it's going to rise and set in your location, and that's based on your on your GPS and what uh, zodiac constellation the moon is currently in. Now the cool thing you can do is you can actually drag the phases back and forth into the future or the past to see what the moon's going to look like. You can also drag the moon around if you want with two fingers. And the other cool thing you can do is you can actually expand the moon by pinching and zooming. And as you do, it actually turns into a lunar atlas. You can see the site of the Apollo landing locations, the seas, the big craters on the moon, and as you zoom in more, more features appear. And you can zoom, you can use the two finger pan to get around to look at different sections. And then the cool thing is those features stay there as you move it through its phases. So you can see how you can tell when different objects are going to be visible on the moon's surface. You can rotate the moon all on its own if you want. You can seek to the next feature, like the next full moon, the next new moon. You can also pull up a calendar and you can see what it's going to be like for the entire month. You can also search for any, any time in the past or future. So I hope that gives you a nice overview of how our cool uh, Phases of the Moon app works. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and uh, hope it uh, keeps you in tune with uh, what's going on in the night sky.